Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is a Game Dev Tycoon Strategy and Tactics Episode 4. So, uh, as you can see here on screen, we made a pair of games in our last episode, one of which was our smash hit, Shota's School Days. Uh, and the other one was our first tiptoe step into the publisher era with Ye Eat. Uh, the medieval simulation. Now, I want to point out uh, uh, a, a sort of a contrast between these two and some of the dynamics that the um, the publisher phase plays and why we are kind of beholden to it, as uh, a couple of my viewers had questions about that. So let's take a look at Shona's school days. So obviously, yeah, smash hit 9.75 rating. Um, 464k uh, units sold for a 3.2 million dollar profit. I'm I'm especially proud of that. Especially because if you if we if we compare this smash hit to the smash hit that I hit on my original series, yeah, this one uh, this one made about a million dollars more, and that's because we took the time and effort to hit it on the console. The other one I I uh, I uh, slummed it at the uh, uh, the Govador. But anyway, I digress. And so yeah, we hit t sales rank number one and we got 3,900 fans out of the deal. Now let's pop over here to Ye Eat. So Ye Eat, we, we sold a lot more units. We sold 1.3 million units. Uh, now granted, because this is a publisher, we only get a fraction of the um, windfall from that. Not to mention these costs, 413k costs, that factors in the 355k penalty that we had to eat because I didn't hit an 8 rating on this game. Uh, but despite that, we still made 1.5 million dollars. That's about half as much for, for kind of a middling, kind of okay, you know, pedestrian level game. We made about half as much money as our once in a lifetime smash hit uh, for Shona's School Days. But the other big and telling thing here is the fans. Despite this being kind of a pedestrian level game in terms of its rating, we gained 7,500, almost 7,600 fans, whereas Shona's School Days, we only gained 3,900 fans. That's that's because that's tied into the units sold. Because so many more people played Ye Eat, even though it was kind of a uh, an okay but not great game, they they are fans of and know of our company a lot more. So now we're, we're up to 13k fans. Still a ways to go before we can um, uh, free ourselves from the grip of the publishers, but I am really glad I went with a publishing contract rather than trying to do Ye Eat on my own, because I guarantee you, you we sure as heck would not make 1.5 million dollars on it even after sucking up a penalty. So now we have something else to ponder here. Um, our, our employees are fresh back from their um, um, from their uh, vacations and we have a genre trend in play here. Action! Um, now, whenever you have a trend going, at least one of the standard trends, um, if you hit the trend, meaning you make a game that, that caters to the whims of the trend, your final review score will get a 20% boost. Now, that could be a good thing, or that could be a really, really bad thing. See, remember, you are always competing against yourself so for your next big hit. And if you go, if you make a game that goes rocketing past your last best score, oh yeah, that game's going to be great. It'll be, it'll be close to another smash hit for you. But then afterwards, it is going to be so much harder to get actually, get, get yourself a, uh, another good game. You're going to be wallowing in suck for a couple of titles and that can actually tank you depending on how far uh, past that uh, you know that mark you hit if we meant if we turned on all the bells and whistles in our engine and we made an action game and hit the trend and it was perfect we would probably bankrupt our company eventually by doing well it's kind of a you, you got to be careful with that 
on the other hand, we can we can get uh, we can play some tricks and and have some fun with this trend uh, by doing some things unconventional uh, that we couldn't normally do if that trend wasn't in play. But first things first, let's take a look at our publishing deals on the table. Fashion any genre, interesting for the master V. Uh, we got crime and strategy. Um, no, that does not fit at all. Mad Science and Adventure. Um, and Mad Science, uh, well, first off, Adventure is a non-starter. And then we got uh, Farming Any Genre. Ooh, Farming Any Genre. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um... We are going, um, so what, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, pondering between two different ones here. One would be, because um, uh, I mean, crime strategy, that's not a good combo, and mad science adventure, that's no good. Um, so we're looking at either farming any genre uh, for anything, um, or fashion any genre. Um, you know what? I think, I think I might go for the farming any genre. Uh, now that being said, we need to get farming real quick. Let's do some, uh, let's do some research. New topic. Farming. Uh, let's see. While you're doing that, why don't you do a game report for us, my friend? And you... I mean, I guess we could just knock out one of these just for a future engine. Um, a better user experience. We, we do like our users and their experiences. Vina has announced that they will release a new gaming console in two months. The Vina Oasis. Okay. They said the amounts of the Oasis will be a new start. And uh, so, yeah, so the uh, the Sega Genesis, essentially. The next uh, the next one in, in on board here. Um, some really dedicated fans of Gownless Evening Strap have created a fan game. Oh boy. Uh, using a lot of material from our game. They don't make any money. They seem to do it for fellow fans. Okay, so, uh, I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. Leave them be. Just leave them alone. Now quit having dandruff, man. We need you back. We need you at the ready before the publishers refresh their stuff. Because we're burning, uh, burning daylight here. Okay. Um, all right. So let's find those publishing deals. Oh, they shuffled, didn't they? Well, there's still a farming any genre on board, but for the master V. Ah, uh, we took too long. Airplane adventure, no. And again with that crime strategy. Ubersoft is really, really, uh, really holding their breath on that. Farming any genre. All right, you know what? F it, we're doing it. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna get the license to the Master V and we're gonna accept this contract. Farming any genre. And guess what genre we're going to go for? Guess what genre? We're actually going to do action. We're, yes, that is an awful, awful combo. But the awfulness of the combo is counterbalanced by the trend. So we can actually get an odd combo. And then when we circle back and hit farming again with maybe a, a slightly more appropriate topic, then we... Um, then we got ourselves, um, uh, you know, we haven't exhausted the unique combo bonus for farming. Um, we've used something that otherwise wouldn't have been used. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, we're going to do it for the Master V Pinstar Pool Engine. And we're going to call this... Larissa's... Lagoon. 
Yes, I know. Farming, action, what's that have to do with the lagoon? Well, imagine you have, you imagine yourself you have a, a mermaid and a serene little lagoon where you need to farm up pearls. Those pearls are not for necklaces or beauty or things. No, they're ammunition for your sea-based guns as you fight off waves and waves of pirates trying to invade the lagoon and claim it for their own. Uh, so, in a way, you're farming for pearls, but they're, it's because they're ammunition. <laughs> um, I think I spelled your name correctly, Larissa. She's one of my name in-game patrons. I would not want to... Yeah, there's an extra I there. Larissa. There we go. Larissa's Lagoon. Let's, 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 let's see if we can make this happen. Let's see if we can make it happen. Um, yeah, we're going to start development. I really, really hope we don't miss that trend, because otherwise this game is going to be 15 times of Stinkburger right here. Yep. We gain, um, yeah, we gain fans, and that's kind of what we need to do. Okay, so action games, uh, they like more engine, more of that. Um... Yeah, let's turn on game tutorials. I think even with the uh, uh, trend bonus, we're going to need a little extra help to make this work. Let's see what the bubble generation looks like here. Because uh, you can kind of get a tell. Now, remember, we hit 30 tech. Uh, yes, I would like to agree to that. Oh... <laughs> why, why, why did you... No, we're going to be modest. Because there's a real chance that even with that, um, we're going to circle back. We'll be modest. Yeah, you don't get as much hype out of it, but you also don't get a penalty if you miss. I think you need to hit an 8 to hype the game and not get penalized for it. And I'm... This is a this is a crapshoot right here. This is, this is a wild, wild attempt here. Oh, but the hype's growing. Boy, people are getting excited for this weird, weird game. Okay. Well, you guys do that. We're going to need some more bubbles, though. We're going to need a lot more bubbles. More bubbles, please. Enough with the dandruff. Um, actually, we're, we're actually in a pretty good place right now. Um, I think... I th I think we should bump the sound up a little bit. Um, I don't want to overshoot it though. No, you know what? Well, hmm. do I want to bump the sound up? Because I really don't want this to go rocketing past. You know what? We're going to keep basic sounds. Air on the side of caution. Because there, I think we only need to hit a six for this game anyway to, to avoid the penalty. We also need to make sure we we don't. All right, as soon as those bugs are gone, we got to finish the game. That's actually good. The ratio is good. The number of bubbles is 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 good. Uh, new topic, new combo. Yeah, uh, and we hit the trend. This this would be a dead dead game if we did not hit that trend. But we hit the finish button before the trend went away. So we get we get the trend factored into our game quality. I still have no freaking clue if this is going to if this is going to be good or not. All yeah, right, Alan Lowe gets a raise. Um while we wait, uh everybody do training. Um, since we didn't actually get around to it before, um, yeah, you're going to do make me think. I want everyone's speeds to be normalized at like 300, so I might, since we did, um, yeah, your speed, 231. I mean, eh, we don't need to, what's, what's, okay, let's, let's, let's find, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Oh god, it's actually gonna be good. It's actually gonna be good! <laughs> Action farming for the win! Larissa's Lagoon is actually gonna be good. I mean, it's not great, but that's still good enough. 
it's it's a seven. It is a solid seven. It's is it's it's only very slightly worse than ye eat, but it's an action farming game. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how you use uh, 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 trends to your benefit without rocketing past your score. Had we chosen a topic that actually liked. Um, that we uh, we would have gotten it would have been tens and then we would have been screwed just just plain and simple oh their speeds are almost identical okay um, you know what everyone get, gets and makes me think because uh, we, we we need we need research yes we do and this time we don't have to soak a penalty because we actually hit the uh, hit the thing. Um, yeah, meets the required ratings. And now this is for the Master V. Not as quite as high, but it's an every, E for Everyone game, and the Master V likes E for Everyone games. The Master V also likes action games, so it really does kind of work out nicely. Um, now that being said, our next game that we make, we are not going to be banking on, um, on um, that trend sticking around. So we're going to pretend like that trend don't exist. We're going to um, look for a new publishing deal. Transport Simulation. Hmm. Post-apocalyptic action. Hmm. The Vena Gear, eh? Any topic simulation for the PC. Any topic, any genre for the target audience, everyone? Oh, now you're speaking my language. Now, granted, the, the royalties are awful, and the minimum score is awful, um, so we're not gonna get we're not gonna get paid much for this. That's the problem. I love this combo here. You know, put you know an, an everyone game for the TES. Twist my arm, please. Any topic simulation, we could actually do a little bit better at that. In fact, we could um, we could use farming for its intended purposes. <laughs> We could, we could actually do that. I, I wouldn't mind that. And, and simulations do perfectly fine on the PC. Um, then we got this post-apocalyptic action, which is actually a pretty, pretty good one. Um, and I think that we can actually pick that up front here. Minimum score five for the Vena gear. The problem is post-apocalyptic likes adult games and the Vena Gear is not so not so keen on that. Yeah, you know what? Any topic simulation, I think. And actually, you know what? Better than the farming, we should do medieval. Medieval is a um No wait, we already did medieval simulation though, and I don't want to repeat that. Uh we could do farming simulation. We could do con colonization simulation. Um, I don't know if it likes it mature though. Well, you know what? You know, let's let's stick with my original plan: farming simulation. Um, and let's see here. Uh, game engine pinstar pool. The mother of pearls. So this this game is a. I guess it would canonically take place in the same world as um, Larissa's Lagoon. Uh, but now now the pirates that you were fighting off in the last game have been defeated. Things are peaceful and quiet. And now uh, Larissa is is left to tend to her pearl, pearls. Maybe actually make them into jewelry and necklaces and sell to tourists and and uh, visitors and whatnot. It's it's a more it's it's still about nurturing that lagoon but with a lot less combat uh, oriented bent to it I think this will do well and I don't think we're gonna get a penalty for reusing the same topic in a row because it's a different genre um, if you you do you do take a pretty substantive penalty if you hit um, if you use the same exact topic and genre at the same time uh, for the for the same you know two two games in a row people people don't like that 
they, they don't like it much at all. So, let's start development here. And we're not in danger of head, slamming headfirst into the action trend in case it in case it sticks around longer than we we would have liked it to. Um, now, do we turn this stuff on or not? Um, we could turn it on. Yeah, we can turn it on. We can keep that on. I mean, I'll keep the sound off. Yeah, there he goes. Normalized. That's fine. We got we got our sales in place. Once this thing comes off the market, I'm going to compare it to Ye Eat. Because I want to see how we all did with that. Um, yeah, that's fine. And graphics, sound, we'll keep everything else the uh, same as is. Actually, this is... we're in danger of... Uh, I should have turned that off. This is... this is getting dangerous. This is getting real dangerous. Real dangerous. Because that's a lot of tech points. And, yeah, this is... This this could be this could be a damagingly good game. This is this might be I, I I should have turned that off. Oh, please don't be too good. Please don't be too good. Also, um Oh uh, yeah, let's see what the reviews are like. Oh, okay. It's not going to be too good. Good. Phew! You see an 8, you're fine. 8, that's good. 8, that's fine. Yeah, a rogue 10. That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with a rogue 10. Because that means this game's going to do well, but not so well that we just destroyed our, our threshold here. We push the bar forward, don't don't get me wrong, but yeah. 8.5 overall, that's not bad. Larissa's Lagoon. So we sold uh, 1.6 million. We Our costs are high because we had to buy the license to the Master V because uh, we didn't previously own that. Um, so, but we still came, we still walked away with a 1.5 million profit, which is exactly the same as we did for here. We made even more fans though, because we had 1.6 million in sales versus 1.3. We just had a, a worse um, uh, uh, royalty ratio there. Um, but yeah, Mother of Pearls should do nicely. And we certainly hit their, uh, hit their requirements there. The only problem is Mother of Pearls came out for the PC. Um, and that's not quite as as good. Um, let's let's um, let's do so. Let's do another round of training before everyone gets tired. Um, this time we are going to um, for me for Pinstar. Yeah, we'll do, um, you know what, I think I like where the group is. I think that we needed that one game design for Pirates, but I think we're going to go Game Dev Gems now, which is the balanced training. Game Dev Gems. And a little wood we, as meets the required ratings. You're darn right it does. All right, we're at 1.1 million units. All right, Gary White, big fan of mo the Mother of Pearls. And uh, yeah, this this game is is doing quite well. Ah, the uh, the uh, so the Super TES. I'm looking forward to developing for the Super TES. Because it, like the others, uh, are, have a bent towards younger games. 
um, and is just going to be even more popular. And well, let's be fa face it, the Super Nintendo was my childhood favorite uh, back in the day. I, I had an NES, but I didn't really get, oh wow, I timed that perfectly, because now it is vacation time. All right, you guys do your thing. Come on back. And I think that is a good, uh, that's a good stopping point here. So, um, Larissa stars in a pair of her own games and we make quite a bit of money here. Look at this, Mother of Pearls, 2.4 million and it's still on the market. Um, and we gained 12,000, almost 12,100 fans out of the deal. So yeah, it would have been probably even better selling if it wasn't on the PC, because PC is a little bit lower in the um, sales ranks, but it still does well on the PC. Um, so yeah, I hope, uh, I hope you guys like this episode. And if you want to see more like it, and you want to get your uh, name in the game, you want to have a chance to star in your own game or two, um, uh, check out my Patreon down in the links below. Um, so until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!